Yeah, Joyce, the 16 year old pleaded guilty and will remain in custody. And this comes as we're learning new details and evidence potentially tying him to the case. It creates a substantial risk to the community safety and therefore order secure detention. A King County judge siding with the state to keep this teen in custody. As the case moves forward, police say he and three other teens could be responsible for 78 violent robberies throughout King County in a month long crime spree. I'm aware that there's allegations of a substantial number of other possible cases. Those aren't in front of me right now, so I'm trying to confine my ruling to the facts that are in front of me now. We're not identifying the team because he's underage. Prosecutors have charged him with two counts of robbery in the first degree and unlawful possession of a firearm in the second degree. Charging documents say the teen was involved in an armed robbery at a Circle K near the Seattle University campus on October 4th. Surveillance pictures show the suspect was wearing a black face mask and pointed a gun with an extended magazine at several customers, stealing two wallets and $100 from the register. Looks like the driver's getting out. Four days later, Seattle police coordinated a sting operation, arresting the 16-year-old and the three other teens, including 18-year-old John Bailey Johnson, currently held on $350,000 bail. Thanks for being SPD here. held a press conference last Friday, just a day after the arrest. This is not like a kid playing cops and robbers. These kids are very, very dangerous. And the state plans on filing more charges against the four teens. Joyce. And what happened to the other three teenagers, Brady? Well, Joyce, the 15 year old and the 18 year old are still in custody. As far as the second 16 year old, the county says that he has been identified by police, but he has not been booked. Joyce. Brady in Seattle. Thank you.